Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone and to my beloved lecturer, Prof. Sivarao. Thank you for this opportunity for allowing me to present the third assignment for our product which is Roller Soap Dispenser. Hi, my name is Amirul Nasrik. I am representative of my group for third assignment. Those are my group mate, Miss Ida Shamiza and Mr. Muhammad Afik for this industrial design subject. Let's go through to the introduction, the third assignment, focusing on the prototype of the product. So, we need to develop a prototype that following the aspect of ergonomic, this product's aim is majorly depending on the customer needs and criteria. The development of prototype. These are the materials and some equipment to develop the roller soap dispenser prototype which is polystyrene foam, uh, watercolor, cutter, white glue and ruler. The purpose of uh, using the polystyrene foam is because it is easy to be shaped, resized and light in weight. To add on some aesthetic effect, we use watercolor to give some beautiness of our product. Alright, next, these are the process in developing our prototype. First, we choose the materials that will be used for the prototype. For our product, we are using the polystyrene foam for the body. After completing some adjustment for shape of the foam, we attach the circular foam together by using the white glue. And then, to make its top lid cover, we just need to reshape the another foam by using cutter and if needed, we are gonna smooth the surface using sandpaper. Next, we construct the roller and the roller mechanism for the soap dispenser at the bottom. For the last component of the prototype, which is liquid level gauge, we only need to plug out some foam by using small cutter. Last but not least, we assemble all the components together to get the full for a prototype. Not forgetting to add the aesthetic effect to our prototype, we use watercolor to decorate the prototype to indicate some function for the product. Alright everyone, this is the final product for the prototype of the roller soap dispenser. Um, to demonstrate the prototype, here goes the demo. How was it? Oh wait, we got some analysis to do for the product analysis. Here's some analysis to show that our product are following form follow function. Top lid cover make it easier when filling the soap. Liquid level meter show the liquid soap level that remaining in the reservoir. Cylindrical body will give space for the liquid soap. The back panel is the panel to have the dispenser while the roll on ball will allowing the liquid soap flow out around it when the user need to use the soap. Next analysis is user interface. The affordance for the roller ball are easy for user to using the soap. Second, the user just need to slide the roller front or back to get the soap out. The affordance for the liquid level meter, the user just looks at the side of the body to know the level of the liquid R. Now the mapping for the user interface. Functional. First, the liquid level meter to show the workers whether the liquid is low or high. Second, the roller gives a user easier to using the spacer while with less force needed. For the anthropometry analysis, 
we calculating the task where to know the height of elbow while using the soap dispenser. So, we get the data for the elbow height mean which is 99.8 cm and the standard deviation is 4.5 cm. By assuming the consumer percentile is 5%, we can use the equation which is P is equal to M plus Z times with SD so we get the answer is 92.37 cm so the result from the calculations 92.37 cm of the height of the elbow for the user to feel comfort while using it to conclude this prototype our objective have been achieved where we follow the ergonomic aspect. The product that we develop meets all the customer requirement and criteria. And last but not least, our prototype fully identical to what our select the concept for the prototype.